Over the past thousands of years, human beings have went through different stages of development. Agricultural age, industrial age, and now the incredible information age. We have seen numerous things that were once unreachable become realities. Over the past 20 some years, the Chinese telecom industry has went through a really, really rapid growth. And I'm pretty curious about how the development of telecom will bring to the ordinary people's life. With these questions, I first came to Oppo, one of the largest Chinese phone retailers who has spread their business over 60 countries and regions. I was traded for the first time, according to them, to have access to their lab in Chengdu to first exclusively witness the speed of 5.5G. The setting the time countdown. Mm. Wow, that's really fascinating. I know you will have loads of questions about 5.5G. Simply saying, this is akin to constructing two additional airline highways alongside the original one. Such a design allows more data to travel smoothly on this digital highway simultaneously, not only increasing transmission capacity, but also enhancing flexibility. As a 5.5G network gradually matures, we can anticipate the emergence of a range of cutting-edge technologies, including AR, VR, and gas-free 3D. Though they are already there, of course, these killer apps will become more common in the future, just like our returning from 2G page rating to 5G video streaming. The commercialization of 5.5G will also prepare innovations and interactive forms. For instance, through more advanced haptic feedback technology, users will be able to perceive the textures of virtual objects. Maybe the film will soon become reality. With more precise spatial position technology, users will join the freedom to move and interact seamlessly within virtual spaces. Speaking of spatial positioning technology, our next protagonist is about to take the stage. And here is a demo showing you applications that could be used in the future. And you can see right here there are several aviators here or UAVs and when it enters the red square right here that is a restricted area because of the high transmitting rate and low latency it can directly send signals to the UAVs to ask it to hovering still and to avoid entering the restricted zone to keep it safer. That the low altitude economy is a pretty hot buzzword right now and in the future 5GA base station will provide the aviators a channel for it to travel more safe thus avoiding collapsing into each other, which can provide us a safer route for traveling. So the third function is a remote sensitive ability. Because of 5GA, the base station will actually act as a radar to detect the location of the UAVs. Uh, my question is like, why do we choose like 5.5 instead of just leaping from 5G to 6G? 5.5 uh, in the middle mm -hmm. of this decade. Yeah. So uh, in some uh, scenario, we lead to in, uh, involve some new features in our communication system. For example, uh, the sensitive function, low lit, uh, attitude, uh, economic, uh, we lead sensitive function to monitor our drone in the uh, fly in our uh, air. In urban digital dreams uh, scenario, we can use this technology to improve automatic driving uh, and uh, keep uh, the cars safe. Currently, China Mobile has globally premiered the commercial development of 5G Advanced, or 5.5G, in Hangzhou and launched the first batch of 100 commercial cities for 5G8 networks, with plans to expand to over 300 cities nationwide within the year of 2024, aiming to establish the world's largest scale 5GA commercial network. Without further ado, let us eagerly anticipate the arrival of the next era.